Headphones are an indispensable accessory for people regardless of age, class, and gender nowadays. These incredible inventions help you to push through the struggles of life with your preferred background music or to just simply avoid the sounds you don't want to listen to. Either way, headphones being so popular, it's only obvious that there'd be a huge market relating to them, making the decision of purchasing the perfect pair of cans a very tedious task. In our video today, we'll talk and discuss how much money you should actually spend on a pair of cans based on a few factors. So without further ado, let's begin. When scouring the market for a pair of good quality headphones, you're instantly torn between the decision to go for a budget $30 headphone or a premium $300 headphone. Whatever the case, the general rule of thumb right here is you'll get exactly what you pay for. Considering the latest tech and price, it can get a bit confusing to choose the right pair of cans. Which brings us to the question, what actually determines the price of a headphone? Notable and most important factors to look out for are connectivity, noise canceling features, craftsmanship, and build quality. IP rating, the brand itself, and compatibility. Combining all these are essential to determine a value of the headphone, which makes you wonder how much should you actually spend on a pair of headphones? Ranking them into different price ranges, let's get down to the details. Don't be fooled by the title. Because if you have the technical know-how, $100 is enough to bag yourself a good quality, reliable headphone. But despite all that, they do lack a lot of features that'll play a big role in giving you a more immersive audio experience. Plus, if you're a person who's somewhat of a brand snob, then you probably should up your game a little. Because most headphones manufactured by reputable brands cost a bit more. For this range, we highly recommend the Anchor Soundcore Life Q30 Wireless or the Steel Series Arctis One Wireless. When you're in the $100 to $200 range, you'll be getting headphones that are relatively better spec'd than your beginner level headphones with noticeably better noise isolation and Bluetooth technology. Alongside, you'll also be getting better quality drivers that'll reproduce audio with comparatively less levels of distortion, making this range a sweet spot for people who are looking to buy headphones for studio recording and tracking. When searching for good mid-range headphones, Sennheiser HD 250BT, Rado SR80X, and Sony WHCH700N, all three of them are amazing choices. $200 to $500 being the sweet spot between affordable and premium, the audiophile range has a bunch of reputable brands that offer high quality headphones that have a comparatively more balanced sound, better noise reduction, and an extended warranty. For the price you're paying, you might be able to bag yourself some replaceable parts, making them easy to tinker with and modify to your heart's content. In this price range, you could easily go for the timeless classic wireless Sony WH-1000XM3 that comes with features such as VA compatibility, touch controls, amazing noise cancellation, and solid 30-hour battery life. However, if you can crank things up, you'll be getting access to some of the best all-purpose headsets that come with 3D surround sound that amplifies the most subtle details you wouldn't otherwise get on the lower-tier headphones. They come with the latest features and will give you enough personalization options for you to tinker with. For this range, we highly recommend Sony WH-1000XM3, Sony WH-1000XM5, BMW PX7S2, and Sony MDR-1AM2. When you cross that $500 range, this is where the big guns come out. Crafted specifically for sound engineers and serious musicians in mind, these are the ones that you want when you could care less about the money. However, do keep in mind how the comparison in quality isn't really that far off, and if you don't have the ear for it, you might end up wondering why on earth you didn't go for the more affordable options instead. You see, before making any decisions regarding a purchase, you should do research on yourself and figure out what kind of sound you are expecting from a pair of headphones. If you think you're gonna be fine with just the basic sound level, literally any headphones you can get for less than $100 will work flawlessly. Although you gotta be careful because they won't be the most durable headphones ever. Then again, 
If you want the best of the best, better cash in, because quality headphones often don't come cheap. And with that, you could go for the Bear Dynamic Amaron Wireless, Rado GS1000E, or Apple AirPods Max. While it all boils down to personal preference, we do hope our video today has helped you to understand and finance a bit better to find out the perfect headphone for you. Do let us know what you finally end up with and your overall experience as we would be delighted to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feet.